Morning, Georgie. You all right? Oh dear. Right, go over the fence, there we go. Hello, good morning. Okay. I would stop, but I've got a big bag of feed on my shoulder, so I can wait. See, look at these naughty chickens getting through the fence. There we go, made it. Right. Alright, come on you guys, you gotta move it. Now I'm gonna take your heads off. And you don't want that. Oh, still one egg. Oh, they're still not laying really. Which is a bit of a shame. Check down there because I put some foam in on the other side to try to keep the rodents out and I'm hoping. Looks like something might be getting through. Yeah, that's not a Hmm. Have to keep an eye on that. And uh, as you can see, I put these up last time, these screens. And um, I put the water there to hold it back. And three or four of them have now taken to roosting up there. Which is fine, I don't mind. But it just means extra, extra poop to clean up all the time. Right, so let's go around and have a chat. I'll feed the geese in just a second, they can wait a minute. We'll go around, we'll have a chat, and we'll see what's what and what's been happening. So, where to begin? Let's swing it around this way. Uh, to the right there, the Sussex, I think that's one of the auction birds. I don't think that's our Sussex we raised. That one there is another one of the recent auction birds. I really shouldn't have brought her, she's so old and ancient, it's unbelievable. You can see how old she is. Um, maybe that is our Sussex. That is our Sussex we hatch, isn't it? Yeah, she's a young one. Um, unfortunately, we came down one day and the Sussex cockerel was dead. Um, no signs of any violence or any issues or anything else like that. Um, he was just dead. And he was uh, out there just behind where she is now. Just um, up against the up against the barn. Um, so we weren't too sure what was going on with him. So we took sick note over here to the vets. Where is she? She's hiding from me. There she is. She's down there. So we took her to the vets. She's still not right. Um, the vet gave us some. Um, antibiotics and said if she improves come back and we give her some more antibiotics but there hasn't really been a big improvement in her not one that you would expect um, he also gave her some stuff for the mites as well because we just couldn't clear the mites off her I don't know what it what it is with her but nothing we done could clear the mites so he gave her some stuff and that seems to have cleared the mites but um, whatever she had or has got with the respiratory seems to have got everybody else and they've all been brought down a little bit but they just kind of go down for a couple of three days and then they bounce back again but her I think it's because of the mites as well she was down and she stayed down so let's go in there and we'll have a quick look so you know the other one that's in with her is another one we picked up at auction and when I brought it back it was really raspy it was overly raspy it's going through um, a molt as you can see by the amount of feathers that are around everywhere it's still a little bit raspy um, but yeah it's going through a big molt at the minute probably because it's getting colder as well now 
check their coop. No, there's nothing in their coop. So yeah, there we go. They're down there. And... Running off. So unfortunately, whatever the respiratory issue is, antibiotics don't do anything for it. And it's just a case of giving it time to work through the flock. So if that's what the Sussex cockerel had, and then... Um, that maybe combined with, with some underlying issue that we don't know about was what took him down we don't actually know and there you go you see that was her there just sneezing and she's one of the better ones so they've all been wormed but she's she's doing that but they've all been wormed they were wormed last week um, it's just some sort of uh, respiratory thing what is it they say? Say so if it's a um, if it's a virus, there's nothing they can do about it. But if I can get close enough to Vicky here, you can have a listen. See, I don't know if the camera can pick that, but she's quite rattly. So yeah, give them some, perk you up in the the water and just have to wait and see what happens basically. So this is Soph. Are you alright there Soph? She seems to be unaffected by pretty much everything, she seems pretty resilient. And then we've got other ones like this one here, she hasn't had any, any issues. So it only seems to be a few of them. And of course, Mr. Herky there, he's had no problems whatsoever. Ain't that right, Herx? Right, so I'm going to feed the geese. And uh, yeah, and we'll see what's next. Okay, so that's the geese been given some food. We'll go over and we'll have a chat. We'll have a look for some duck eggs. Now, oh, Georgie, why do you run away whenever the camera's on? Hey? Aha, I can see a duck egg. Now, the question is, has it been got or something? Because we're having issues with something that is getting in and getting the eggs before I do. Yeah, see that one's been got. You can see straight away. Uh, I think we're looking at a rodent of some description. So I've got some big traps, but before I can use the big traps, I need to clear an area to make sure that the geese and ducks don't get into it and just put it down somewhere. See the ducks are hiding underneath here. You all right under there? There's two of them under there. I'm surprised that one of them is actually still laying. Mm -mm. There it goes. But yeah, we've still got one that's still laying. And there's one hiding just there. But the chickens are meant to be over the other side there. But um, this one here keeps on getting through. So I've just decided just to leave her now. She gets through, she goes back. And then she comes back again. And then she gets through again. And I put her back and she goes backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. But Miss Georgie here, she doesn't seem to like it whenever I hold anything. I've worked that one out because I came over here holding the feed bowl. She doesn't even like that. Let's see, if I put it down, she might come over and have a chat. Georgie, you going to come and have a chat? 
No, you see, but when I don't bring the camera, she's straight over to me. Straight in there. But we are still after a friend for us, so if you've got a Toulouse goose, then uh, please do let us know. Well, I think that is going to be just about it for today. We spoke about losing the Sussex, uh, which is a shame. And we spoke about going to the vets. I did try to get the vet to give me something that would treat the whole entire flock. But um, he didn't seem keen to do that. He wanted to know what type of... Um, what's the right word? What type of um, like infection it was first if it was a virus or if it was the bacterial and then he would be able to give me something because obviously there's ones you can give antibiotics for and ones that you can't so um so yeah we're just waiting to see what happens next and hoping the whole flock gets over itself and we don't lose any more so until the next video if you have any ideas please do leave them down below we are open to ideas and suggestions and anything else you might have to say and um, until the next video bye bye see I know what's gonna happen the instant I turn this camera off the lot of you are gonna start making noise like mad crazy stupid animals aren't you we're going to have two cockerels going cock-a-doodle-doo at each other you're gonna start acting like there's a load of free worms just being dropped on the yard. Yeah, always happens, doesn't it? As soon as we turn off the camera.